Well, good morning, and uh, welcome to another episode of Backyard Bible. The church is a very important place for all of us, and we are members of the church, and God has given us the responsibility of stewardship. And what stewardship means is that we're responsible for the church. We're supposed to take care of it and promote it and help it to grow, to help it to fulfill its mission of letting all the world know about Jesus' message and his gift of salvation. Well, there's a lot of ways you can do this. One of them is to give time, but the other one is to give resources. The church needs money to operate just like anything does. So God has put in place a request. It's called tithing. And tithing is a funny word. It is tithing, very funny word. But it's a very simple concept. God wants you to provide 10% of your wealth, 10% of your earnings to the church. In the old days, it was done by sheep. So the sheep would come through every one out of 10. So out of every 10 sheep you had, you had to give one to the church. Um, how do you pick which sheep? It's the first one. So the first sheep is the one you give, and then you count 10 more in the first one, so forth. So tithing is a little difficult to fully understand. So here's the idea. Um, I've seen this before done with donuts and done with um, crackers and all kinds of things, but I have stones here. So there's a man and uh, he has a project that he wants to do. And a stranger comes up and says, you know, what's the matter? And he says, well, I don't have the stones that I need to do my project. And the man says, well, how many stones do you need? He says, I need two stones. I would love to have five stones because with five I could do a better project, but I only really need two. So the stranger says, well, I can make stone available to you as a gift. I, I can provide the stone. Um, it's mine, but if you need it, you can have it. I'll tell you what, here are 10 stones that you can use. The man says, really? These 10? And the stranger says, yes, all 10 of those. I've made them available to you. All you need to do is pick them up and use them uh, for your design. So the man picks up the stones and he uses the first two for the project like he had planned and he uses the next three to make the project even better and he's got his five stones all right there there's five left over the stranger comes back to him and says can I have one of those stones back and the man says but they're mine I love these stones they're my stones I don't want to give them up but the stranger says well really they're my stones aren't they I provided them for you for you to use as you needed, when you needed them. But now I would like to have one stone back, one out of the 10. Well, how do I pick which one of the 10 to give you? I don't want to give you my best stone and you probably won't accept my worst stone. So if I'm to give you a stone, how am I to do this? And so the stranger says, well, put all the stones in a bag and shake them out. And the first one that falls out will be for me. And I will use it for my purposes. I will help other people with that stone. But the man didn't want to give up his stones, even though they really weren't his. See, God gives us the skills and the abilities to raise the resources we have. And if we spend all of those resources, we have nothing to give back to God. Well, some people say, well, why doesn't God just automatically take the first stone away and just give us nine? And that makes sense. I mean, really, if God were to do that, no church would be without funding, would it? But the reason he doesn't do that is he wants you to make the choice. He wants you to have the choice to support your church. He wants you to have the choice to support his will. He wants you to have the choice to make the right decision and support the things that are important to God first. The first stone is the one that comes out, not the last, not your choice, the first one. So a lot of adults get into a, a tricky habit of spending the money they've got. So. It's really important that we start early in our lives saving money appropriately. So when you receive money as a gift or you earn it doing your first job, you should take 10 cents from every dollar, a dollar out of every one, or I'm sorry, $10 out of every 100, one out of every 10, however you want to do the math, 10%, and give that to the church. And get accustomed to that early in your life. If you do that from the very beginning, then it's very easy to do it later on because you've only budgeted for the nine stones and not for the ten. That man only needed two. 
he used five. He didn't need the other five, but he found ways of using those stones for frivolous things. So we need to think every day when we're spending our money, did we put God first or did we put him second? Did he just get the leftovers? When we go to church and we put money into the collection plate, it's not a ticket for the performance in front of us. We're supposed to be sporting the entire mission, whether we're here or not. So just remember that. When you get an allowance or you have your first job, or if you're an adult and you have a current job, start working on setting 10% of that gross money, the, the amount you get paid aside, and give it to God. That's it for Backyard Bible. Let's pray. Dear Lord, please bless us every day and help us to use those gifts to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Until next time, it's Backyard Bible. Oh, sorry for my neighbor. He's cutting his grass. I wish he would cut mine because mine's really deep, but I'll be doing that later today. Take care, everybody. I'll see you next week.